This is Real News Media TV. Coverage you can trust. Gunmen invade Mobe business establishment, killing one worker. The St. James police are probing the daring gun attack that left a man dead at his workplace along the bustling commercial hub of Barnett Street in Montego Bay on Monday afternoon. Another worker also received gunshot injuries and was taken to the hospital where he was admitted in a serious but stable condition. The dead man has been identified as 35-year-old Jermaine Cardoza of Montego Heights, Salt Spring, St. James. The police say that about 5.30 p.m., armed men invaded the business establishment and opened a gunfire hitting the two workers. The gunshot victims were rushed to the hospital where Cardoza was pronounced dead. No motive has been established for the gun attack. St. Catherine man charged with assault gun possession. Detectives from the St. Catherine South Division have arrested and charged 23-year-old Damar Muirhead of Terminal Road, Old Harbor in the parish with two counts of assault at common law, illegal possession of firearm, and illegal possession of ammunition. His court date is being finalized. The charges stemmed from an incident in his community on Sunday, December 20. The police report that about 10.30 a.m., Muirhead was involved in a dispute with the complainants, during which he allegedly pulled a firearm and pointed it in their direction before threatening to kill them. The matter was reported to the police and Muirhead was arrested and charged. Illegal firearm ammunition found in abandoned building. Cops attached to the St. Catherine South Police Division on Monday found a 9mm Glock pistol with a magazine containing 18 9mm rounds of ammunition during a joint police military operation on Big Lane in Central Village. The police report that about 12.45 p.m. personnel were in the area when an abandoned building was searched and the illegal weapon and ammunition were found inside. No one was arrested in relation to the seizure. Two brothers now dead, mother and sister in custody. A man who was being sought in relation to the macabre style killing of his brother in Tank Lane in Arakabesa St. Mary earlier this week has been found dead. The deceased has been identified as Alfred Forrester. His body, which had what appeared to be several wounds, was allegedly found in an area known as Eden Park close to Orocabesa on Wednesday afternoon. Police are still processing the scene at this time. Earlier on Wednesday, police said they were searching for Forrester who they believe was hiding in bushes in the area. His mother and sister are in police custody as the St. Mary police probed the discovery of dismembered body parts of his brother at a home on Tank Lane, Orocabesa on Tuesday, December 29. 26-year-old Jerome Forrester of Tank Lane, who was reported missing on Monday, December 28, by his sister, was found on Tuesday morning in an advanced state of decomposition. Reports from the Orocabesa police are that, about 9.30 a.m., residents launched a search for Forrester in the community and discovered the body parts in knitted bags in bushes at the back of his home. The legs and hands are still missing. Following preliminary investigations, the mother and sister of the deceased man were taken into police custody. But some residents are theorizing that at the heart of the dispute was a feud over a piece of land. Further investigations are ongoing. Teen drones at hotel in Manchester while visiting mom. A 16-year-old boy has drowned while swimming in a pool at a hotel in Manchester. It is reported that around 11.30 a.m., the teen was swimming at the Tropics View Hotel in Hatfield, about 5 kilometers west of the parish capital, Mandeville, when he got into difficulties and drowned. Further details on the incident were not immediately available. However, it is understood that the teen who is from Hartis in the parish was at the hotel with his mother who is visiting Jamaica from overseas. JPS could close seven outlets by March 2021. The Jamaica Public Service Company is considering closing seven of its outlets and shedding some jobs in the first quarter of 2021. 
The outlets are located in Savlamar, Black River, Maypen, Portmore, Portland, St. Mary, and East Parade, Kingston. The decision has reportedly been triggered by a paradigm shift in a year defined by the coronavirus pandemic, which has an increased migration of customer interaction to online platforms. Winsome Colum, the Director of Corporate Communications and Customer Experience at the JPS, said the company has not made any decision on the wind-up of its physical offices. While it is expected that service digitalization will have some impact on the operations of JPS's customer service network, it is too early to say with certainty how they will be affected, she said. Besides its Knutsford Boulevard, New Kingston headquarters, JPS lists 15 customer service offices island-wide on its website. That means a consolidation drive could cause the shuttering of almost half its network of customer service centers, with the light and power company registering a 25% increase in online engagement in 2020 alone. Data show that online interfacing by customers has grown from 36% to 45% this year, JPS said. It is unclear how staff complement would be affected as some jobs may be retained as JPS expands its digital footprint. Digitalization is a key pillar of JPS's strategy, Column said, citing the launch of a mobile app as a tool for improving the ease of doing business and enhancing overall customer satisfaction. 10% of customers are registered users of the MyJPS mobile app since September, the company disclosed. JPS will also be tapping its social media platforms to broaden its service outreach and activate more self-help options through its website and interactive voice response. As part of its rollout of the digitalization plan, the company has started discussion with stakeholders to fine-tune the process and to work through the implementation phases, Colum said. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all so that you get daily news updates.